Hello everybody, we're back with another video. In this video we're looking at Kamala Harris's best case scenario in the 2024 election. What's the most she can hypothetically win by in this election? Let's say the polls are off like 2-3% to 3 in favor of her. So let's just get right into this scenario. Starting off, we're just going to be starting off with the safe blue states and the safe red ones. But yeah, this could very well happen. I mean, we saw the polls in 2022 had underestimated Democrats by a few percentage points. So it's not completely outside the realm of possibility that Harris gets a big polling error in her favor. Maybe pollsters overcorrected from 2020 like we saw in 2022. That could very well be the case. <clears throat> but uh, let's just get right into this video. Starting off with the safer states, let's go to Maine and New Hampshire. I think... These two states, in a best-case scenario for Harris, could go over safe blue margins, so over 10% victories in these states. But I still think Maine second at the end of the day will still vote for Trump. Even in a best-case scenario, it still votes for him by about three or four points. So he still gets Maine second. Alaska, on the other hand, I think that's a potential sleeper flip for Harris in a best-case scenario, especially with ranked choice voting, which honestly gives a huge boost to the Democrats here. We already had a recent Alaska poll only have Trump up 5% in the state. And we had another poll, that uh, an internal Republican poll, that only had Trump up 10 here. So in a best-case scenario, I could see the margins getting close enough that Harris gets it down to just a lean Republican margin. So it's a real possibility that Harris could even win this state. And that poll was without conducting further rounds of ranked choice voting so honestly now that i'm really thinking about it we could because alaska has been trending left by a lot here so maybe harris could pull off a win in alaska especially if ranked choice voting goes her way but i don't know it's like 47 to 42 so even in a best case scenario it would only probably be about lean republican i still think trump would take it even in a best case scenario but it would be very, very close, enough to put it down to a lean Republican margin. Going over to Iowa and Ohio, I still consider these likely Republican states. I just don't think they're really possible to go any lower than that, even in a best-case scenario. Nebraska second, in a best-case scenario for Harris, can go safe blue. So that's possible, especially with how much left-wing trends there are in this district. We saw it shift to likely blue from lean Republican from 16 to 20. So it's possible as well. The state of South Carolina, Trump only won the state by 11 in 2020. So Harris, if she gets very high black turnout, she can make this a likely Republican state. Moving over to Florida, I still don't think Harris could win this state. Even in a best case scenario, I still think it would go to Donald Trump by like two or three points. Texas as well. I still think Trump would win this state by 2% against Harris, even in a best-case scenario, so I don't have her winning that state either. Virginia is just safe blue. Minnesota, even with Walls back in 2022 against a Republican opponent, he still didn't win over 10% here. So I don't even think in a best-case scenario Harris takes Minnesota by over 10 I think it stays in about a likely blue state. Nevada and Arizona, I'd probably put these both as like or lean blue states in a best case scenario. I think Harris carries them by over one, probably wins Nevada by four, probably wins Arizona by about two in a best case scenario. In North Carolina and Georgia, she also wins these two states by about 1.5% each or so in a best case scenario here. She gets a very high black turnout and, and it's come out for her heavily. She could carry these states by lean blue margins. <clears throat> and the last three Rust Belt states here, I think Michigan, Wisconsin, and PA, in a best case scenario, would all go pretty solid behind Harris in a best case scenario. So they wouldn't get shifted. None of the seven swing states would get shifted to likely here for Harris in the best case scenario, which really shows how close this election really is right now. But um, so far, in a best case scenario, Harris would get 319 electoral votes to Trump's 219. She'd win the popular vote by about 5% <clears throat> or so in a best case. I think that's her ceiling, 5.5 points, 5.5%. 5 .5%, that's what I would put the margin as the ceiling. But uh, that would be my election prediction if this was Harris's best case scenario and if this is how it would play out. 
Other than that, if you're new to this channel, I'd highly recommend subscribing if you enjoy videos like this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.